Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and today we are sharing with you my retrograde series about how these retrogrades and different astrological transits are going to affect you and your twin relationship. So this one specifically that we are talking about today is Venus in retrograde. Watch this video. all right welcome back thank you so much for being here today today we are diving into venus in retrograde which if you don't already know is happening from july 22nd to september 3rd and so this is not a super super long retrograde you know a lot of our other planets are in retrograde a little bit longer than this um, but the basis for me to be making these videos is actually not because i am a professional astrologer i don't do astrology professionally if you've watched any of these other retrograde videos i usually say the same thing in all of them um, and just by saying that's not my space it's not um you know, where I feel super called, but because there is so much going on around us right now and in the cosmos and we're all connected, so we all feel these things regardless of how they're going to affect some of us differently than others. Um, and for me, you know, because I talk so much in my channel about twin flames, I was like, you know what? I've been experiencing these retrogrades really interestingly with my twin, so I imagine all the other twins out there are also feeling the same thing. And so if you're going through these experiences, this is a video to just help you and guide you and help you feel a little bit some more secure with what you're going through. A lot of the twin flame dynamics are, you know, make us feel crazy, make us feel ungrounded, make us feel insecure. So these videos are really just a space for us to connect and say, look, this is kind of what's going on. This is what to expect during this time. And this is how to navigate it in an empowering way, right? Because a lot of times when we talk about Venus, in retrograde, we think, oh crap, it's going to be breakup season, it's going to be toxic, it's going to be a lot of chaos in our relationships. But retrogrades actually are more of an opportunity to up level. So I want to change the script a little bit on this and, you know, put the power back in your hands, put the control back in your hands. We don't have to be victims of astrology. <laughs> we can use astrology as a tool to help us navigate. Navigate. So I think a lot of times these retrogrades have gotten, um, you know, our perspectives on these retrogrades have gotten a little bit out of out of order, out of character, um, and have led us to feel really disempowered by, you know, not having the control around these times. But really, we do have the control, and the control is all in how we want to respond. So. Venus in retrograde. If you know a little bit about the planets, you know a little bit about astrology, Venus is the planet of love and relationships. So Venus going retrograde at this time has a lot to do with, you guessed it, your love and relationships. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a bad thing. This more so means that we are re-examining, we are taking a closer look, especially between you and your twin flame, we're going to be looking at what is fulfilling to us on like a deep soul level, right? Like I, I like to think of myself as an example of this because when I used to take, um, and if you've never taken this quiz, definitely take it, the five love languages. This can be really helpful if you're trying to understand how you give and receive love in different ways. This is a really good foundational tool. Um, now there's some debate on whether you know, we won't even go there. <laughs> it's, it's a good foundational tool. It's not like, you know, written in stone and they do change over time, but it is a good foundational tool if you're trying to understand how you like to give and receive love. So when I was younger and I took this test, maybe around 17, 18 years old, I was in one of my first long-term relationships and I took this test and gifts was one of my top ways of receiving love. So I like when people go pick little flowers for me or come home with like a little treat and say, hey, I was at the store, but I was also thinking of you. That was a really big one 
to me in my youth. And when I saw that at first, I kind of took it in a negative way. Um, and, you know, I would, I would blame my partners for not doing this more often, right? And I would be like, well, you never buy me anything or so-and-so bought her partner this or whatever, you know, and I would use that as a way to be like, well, you're not loving me fully, right? Um, and so the way that this changes in this Venus retrograde is you might start noticing the things that used to fulfill you on the surface, right? Which might be society programmings, right? Society says you should buy your sweetheart chocolates and flowers on Valentine's Day. Society says that on your birthday you should be treated to a nice dinner, right? All of these things that we think should fulfill us. This Venus retrograde is asking you to dig a little bit deeper on what truly fulfills your soul, what you really, really, really want to receive from your twin flame and start to notice where these things are coming up. They might do something that no person has ever done for you before, so you didn't even know that was a fulfilling way to be loved. So allow those experiences during this time. Allow yourself to be open to receiving love in new ways um, and prioritize those things, right? It's, it's a time to go kind of back to the drawing board and start fresh, start from a clean slate and allow yourself the more authentic expression of what you want to receive and give in your relationships. Maybe you find that you're a big people pleaser and you've been giving in your relationships out of need for approval, right? You've been doing the dishes or cleaning the house um, and expecting your partner's approval or their appreciation or their gratitude. And then when that falls flat and you don't get it, then you feel like, well, why did I do all of this? So this is also a time of learning how to give in relationships in a more authentic way, in a way that feels more aligned with you, right? Rather than from a place of, I need this person's approval or I want this person to appreciate me, it's more about authentically giving from a space of like creativity and passion and power and just pure love, right? Not needing to receive anything in return. So during this time between you and your twin, there's also gonna be a strong focus on communication. The way that you guys show up in communication, are you prioritizing peace or are you trying to fight amongst yourselves? And so this is a time for shedding old patterns, shedding old layers and old karma, right? So we are brought up a lot of times in relationships to actually fight with our partner. Um, but you'll notice if you've been on this twin flame relationship and if you either are in union or you know are approaching union, having these merging stages going on, what you'll notice is that that desire to fight really falls away and if you're still in separation with your twin and you're feeling a lot of that tension and a lot of that fighting that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong and it doesn't mean you're doing anything bad it just means that there's still some karmic cycles there's still some things that need to play out between the two of you and that is important so this is not me saying oh if you still are fighting your twin or your twin is fighting you then you're doing it wrong. That's not that at all. That's allow those cycles to play out. But if you are in a space where that fighting, that feeling of needing to prove yourself or needing to be seen in a certain way starts falling away, what you'll notice is peace is what is replaced by that. And it's a sense of certainty, a sense of peace, a sense of truth that will come through. And you will feel like, the things that used to bother you or the things that used to be important are no longer important. Um, and that's the best way I can think of to describe it. So you're prioritizing peace in your communication. You're not picking, you're not nitpicking at the little things anymore. You're feeling each other more, right? A lot of times with twins, there's a lot of communication barriers. Either you're from two different languages, two different cultures. Maybe you have some throat chakra blockages going on. So with twins, there can be a lot of communication barriers. Maybe you, your brains work very differently one of you is very creative, the other is very analytical. And so with these communication differences, we have to drop into our hearts and drop into our bodies and really feel where our twin is coming from, right? And feel what they are saying. 
because when we get too uh, lost on the surface of translation, words can only take us so far, right? Words are incredible at conveying things and deciphering and bringing meaning to life and, you know, bridging gaps, but words cannot cover all of it. So this is a time in your communication with your twin, look deeper than the surface level of what they are saying and look at how they are feeling. And so this is going to cause you guys to be able to see that clarity and feel that clarity on a new level. So you might find that you're even connecting with your twin during this time on a much deeper, soulful, more emotional level and you're seeing yourself more clearly in that space. And with that comes a lot of peace. Because you no longer question as much what they're saying. You can feel it and you can look below what your mind tells you and what the surface level is. So today we are also going to draw a card. Um, and this is from my own personal card deck. So we are going to ask, what does Venus have to say for us? Um, how can we use these energies to alchemize the circumstances that are coming up in our lives um, and feel more empowered in our relationships and our areas and spaces where we give and receive love? So let's tune in here, tap in, and let's see what Venus has to say. What guidance are we looking for from Venus today? Mm, okay, so this card is Fearful Surrender. So this card literally is all about letting go, right? That it might feel scary. It feels really safe when we are attached to our ego and our stories, right? Because we already know the outcome of these things. When we are going off of a story, we already know the beginning, the middle, and the ending, right? But when we shed all the stories and we drop into the now, when you drop into the now, you have to surrender your story because there is actually no room for stories in the now. There is no room for programming. There's no room for patterns. And this is because the new earth that we're in right now is moving so quickly that if you feel like you're being left behind or you're feeling like a little bit chaotic, drop into your center, drop into your now, because in that moment you will shed all of the stories, all of the programmings, and you can drop into a space of just being. And this fearful surrender, it will feel very scary to the ego. And that's okay, because the ego views this as dying, right? The ego is built on the mind. The ego is built on the body experiences. The ego is built on the stories and the memories. So when you can really truly drop those things, it's going to feel like a death to a certain part of you. But then what you have to notice is a new part of you is going to bloom. And that new part of you is going to be even more clear, even more energized, even more in alignment with your soul. It's going to feel so much lighter. It's going to feel so much more free. It's going to feel so much more powerful. So if you can surrender these stories, these parts of yourself that are actually no longer serving you, you will find that such creative freedom lives on the other side and that you're able to more powerfully step into who you really are, who you're really meant to be. So what this means with your twin is don't hold them to that old version of themselves. Let that go. Let that go. And don't let it go for their benefit. Let it go for your benefit. Let it go for the benefit that you deserve the peace in this relationship. You deserve the happiness. So it's not about them. And it never was. You know, that is, that's another story. That's another ego trap. It was never about them. So let that go. Let it go for your own security, your own peace your own joy, your own love and understanding of yourself. Let it all go. And when you surrender, you will bloom so beautifully into that new version of yourself and you will be able to give and receive love in such a full, 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 full and fantastic way. 
I hope this video helped. If you need more help navigating these retrogrades, these uh, astrological events that we have going on here in 2023, be sure to check the links in the description below. You can register for my new seven week online course. Um, you can also look at twin flame readings and how you can work with me or my twin one on one. We are happy to serve you in whatever way we can. But yeah, just be sure to check those things out. I got some freebies on there too. So if you're looking for any meditations or anything like that, check the links and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Big love, Serena.